Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today's replay is from Rook, and he is in the Leander, a tier 6 British cruiser. He is on the map New Dawn, and while this is a ranked battle, so everyone's tier 6, there is only one destroyer around. And, well, okay, I mean, the Leander is at least an honorable destroyer, so... <laughs> there is that. Now he is looking at the Budioni, he is also, he is angling against the Budioni while pointing his nose towards the island. I mean the island isn't quite high enough, but once he gets closer he is getting into some decent cover against all of the other ships that might be somewhere else. So right now he is basically just engaging the Budioni while, you know... Okay, the, the Ismail is getting interested, but the island still served mostly as a protection. Once the Ismail pushes in more, that's going to get more problematic. Now the Budyoni is dealt with, and he is now smoking up before the Ismail can come around and blap. That means he can... Uh, well, okay, they've lost spotting, but if they get spotting again, he can use the smoke screen to UP away at the Ismail. Possibly top it. Although the Ismail is actually reversing right now, and yeah, I have a feeling it's not going to stay in torpedo range. I mean, there is always the chance that it suddenly decides to turn around and push this cap, but <laughs> well, it's battleship. So battleships are known for being anywhere near the front lines in World of Warships now. Eh? To be fair though, it would be a very bad play for the Ismail to push here because he is vastly outnumbered, so retreating is actually a good choice here for him. Now meanwhile, there is some action going on at the sea cap. The friendlies are rather aggressive, so are the enemies I guess. And there is a T61 out in the open in the center. Now obviously Rook is gonna take full advantage of that because I mean... <laughs> Yeah, this T62 is just begging for it right now. Now he's trying to smoke up. We'll see how that works for him. Unfortunately, Hydro has run its course, so Rook is no longer be forewarned if torpedoes come his way. Also, he can't really push the T61 right now and farm it in his smoke. T61 itself has Hydro, so if you get too close, you risk getting Hydro yourself while being unable to see the enemy. I'm not sure which of his... yeah, this top launcher is still reloading, so that's why he hasn't tried to top the smoke yet. But, I mean, it's only German smoke, it won't last that long. If the uh, T61, and we know it's still inside the cap, because we can see here the cap is contested. So, if the smoke disappears and the uh, joyer is still there, yeah, he'll have a rude awakening. Now, as a Leander, you always have to be uh, afraid of battleships, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, AP. Okay, so there is the T61. The friendly Eagle was taken out, which is a shame. Now, the smoke is right now disappearing. And, well, as expected, the T61 is caught with its pants down, so... <laughs> yeah, that Hydro won't help, yeah. Now, as I was saying about battleships, the, the Ismail is, well, I mean, you know, it's it could still hit from over there, obviously, but it might just be busy with the Normandy and the New Mexico. The Arizona and the Bayern, they are some true threats here, but it looks like they weren't paying attention, so that's good. And as we've established, the Rook as a true destroyer is now taking... Can, so <laughs> well and he got some very nice shots into the London which is now trying to smoke up but it might just be too late now he's popping a hydro here because you know might be torpedoes coming from said London at least I believe the London has torpedoes there are so many ships in the game these days that I sometimes lose track, especially in the tiers I don't play that often. But I would expect the London to have torpedoes. Now, 
Unfortunately, we've lost vision. It's uh, equal on ships for both teams. Now, obviously, the friendlies have more points. But, I mean, uh, there's, there is still enough time left for the enemy to turn this around, technically. The Arizona, oh, and now the Bayern are spotted again. I can't shoot the Bayern because it's behind that island. Arizona on the other, well, also that island. So he decided to move out and reposition. He caught a glimpse of the London and we'll see if his shells are true. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was very helpful. And now he is going to prepare a warm welcome for the Arizona. Now if the Arizona eats those torps, that would be very nice. Uh, up there in the north we have the New Mexico and Sin Ismail. No idea how this battle is gonna end. If if the Ismail like dies up there that would be amazing. Because that means all the remaining ships are down south and that means Rook doesn't have to worry about suddenly getting blapped from the north. Oh, it looks like those two battleships in the north made a sail by and they both came away floating. So, we'll, we'll see. Meanwhile, the Arizona takes all the fish. And our captain gets reasonably excited. Oh, it's it's even a detonation. <laughs> okay, let's be fair. Detonation or not, he would have died to those torps anyway. Meanwhile, the Bayern is now charging in. This game is looking pretty good at this point. Although we still don't know how North will turn out. I mean, technically, if that Ismail sinks in New Mexico and then grabs A. Also, I'm pretty confused how those guys are sailing around up there. It's, uh... Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll find out at some point. <laughs> Meanwhile, that Bayern here is pushing in. So yeah, I guess technically the Ismail could sink in New Mexico and the Bayern could blub the grass and suddenly we would no longer be in such a great state. But, uh, for now, no reason to worry about it. Rook is carefully coming around. Yeah, he has a smoke ready. Now, his smoke fire penalty is 4.6, so he can still shoot here without getting detected, but that Bayern is rapidly closing. Now, ideally, he'd like to top that Bayern, but the Bayern would need to make a turn for that, I think. Because it's just... I mean, it's not even looking this way right now, so he decides, you know what, let's just go for it. Yeah, New Mexico has one up in the north, so it's a four versus one at this point, so there is no reason to fear that across the Normandy everyone is moving in on that Bayern. So now he's just gonna go for the Kraken. And well, the Degras is dead, but uh, <laughs> so is the Bayern. Well, that brings us to the results, and well done by Rook. He uh, found himself 2077 base experience and unleashed the Kraken, so. <laughs> 5 out of 7, not a bad result. Now besides the Kraken, he also got a first blood, he channeled his inner destroyer to get a cap, and well, overall just very well done. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you next time.